Alright, we're live, and let's go. So, next mission... Um, rare gear. Cool. Let's do this one, actually. I'm I think we have to do a few more missions before... Let me actually see. Oh, no, we don't. So, the recommended power level for the next mission is 80. And I think we are above 80, but let's go look for some rare gear first. I want to try to stay above average, above the cap. How do I get out of here? Oh. I think I can make this one, though. Just have to destroy the. Uh, so is it like that boss in the first one, where you just shoot the glowing legs? I mean, that's the last score, Ken. Those raiding parties won't get their claws on these. Oh my goodness. got wrecked. Just shoot the legs though. I think we should probably focus fire one of them. Down. down. Are there any more of those uh, flame things? It's kind of difficult with two people, actually. Man, where are the good items? Alright, let's go to... I think that's the top.
headed in your direction. They hit us and ran. We lost tools, gear. My crews can't work without that stuff. Cover things in the fallen. Keep running. What are you doing? Two more. Can't find them. Over there. One more. But I think we respawned again. Didn't. Hey. My crews will be reinforcing this rig again in no time. Those fallen you tracked? We've located the rest of the gang. They're consolidating stolen Golden Age tech. In a nice big pile. Out in the open. Give those thieves a taste of their own medicine. Good. I wonder what level do we start finding like blue and purple and exotics from? Was that level nine or yeah, I think nine. I think that's the stash. Let's clear the area for transmit. I think we get something upgraded. Um, strike an enemy to burn binds to see. Engage your enemies mid fight. Fire weapons and throw grenades while gliding. Uh, daybreak projectiles. that
Never really liked fusion rifles, but they're not bad either. Good job. I'll set up a transmat. Wait, wait a minute. Where's my beacon? Did the Fallen steal your transmat beacon too? Uh, Sloan has stepped aside for a moment. The thing she's shouting would blister your ears. May I recommend finding that beacon? How long is this mission? Does that fallen look like a transmat beacon thief to you? He looks like a transmat beacon thief to me. Wait a second, what is my... Oh, let's see, I think. That one. That one's gotta be a transmat beacon thief. He looks even thiefier than the first one. One more shank thingy right there, right? What is this potato aim? Oh my goodness. Area's clear. Let's get back to that stash so I can send it over. Man, I hate doing these side missions now. They're just... tedious. Close enough. I <laughs> did. They have like the worst patterns.
clean them out. These components are critical to the rig's structural integrity. And thanks to you, we've got the tools to put them back. Whatever the fallen steel, we steal back. This reward better be good. While I cannot condone theft, I do appreciate pingback. Well done. This weapon, it's blue. It's an auto rifle. Improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Well, our first blue weapon. Never have to use this hand cannon again. Alright, cool, cool. With that said, um, let's head on to the next mission, actually. Commander Zavala needs the Vanguard united again. While he prepares for the assault on the Almighty, we're going to find Cade at I-4. Luckily, we picked up an odd signal from Cade's ghost. It's being boosted somehow from a centaur called Nessus. Which is strange. Centaurs are really just big rocks in the outer reaches of the solar system. There should be nothing there. Man, I kind of wish these cutscenes weren't in 30 FPS. So much for you can actually tell here. the difference between 30 and like. Let's get to high ground so I can pin down Kate's location. If anyone tells you they can't see the difference between 30 and like 60 versus 144, I don't know what to tell you. I can definitely notice. Oh my goodness. Uh, alrighty. So, Here I we guess go. so. Tracking Cade signal now. I think I'm getting something. Get over my head. Vex trap. Wilson. Vex trap. What is Cade getting us into this time? Something around here is blasting that signal into space. We find that something, we'll find Cade. There, the signal's coming from that wrecked ship. Hello, are you here to rescue the Cade Six? Whoa, you're not Cade. The Cade Six is currently caught in a teleportation loop. He's over there. Whoop. Now he's over there. Ooh. He's moving? Well, that's complicated. I can help you. But I'm gonna be super unpleasant about it. I'm sorry. What? I have uploaded his new coordinates to you. Against my better judgment. Uh, okay. Questionable life decisions. May I help you with anything else? Yeah. Are you okay? You sound a little <laughs> off. I am the Exodus Black's failsafe. Call me failsafe. I boosted the Cade Six's signal in hopes he would be rescued. And look, here you are. Oh, I see. She's just an AI. A malfunctioning AI. I heard that. At your service. Centaurs are supposed to be just giant icy rocks. 
How did all this happen? A robotic alien entity called the Vex have achieved 92.014% conversion of the Centaur Nessus. This area was like something in the beta a little bit that I played through, but it, it wasn't this mission. But it seemed very similar. Cade! Someone there? Listen, don't ask me how this happened. I don't have time to explain what I don't have time to understand. Warning, the Vex will vaporize you. God, I love this auto rifle. The recoil is not that bad, it's actually manageable. So failsafe, what exactly happened here? The Cade 6 attempted to manipulate the Vex portal system. He is now trapped in a non-linear loop. In my defense, I tried to warn him. He's like, not that smart. This is not going well. How long have you been here exactly? Long enough to see the Vex convert this entire planetoid, kill all living organisms, reformat molecules, and digitize brain waves for further study. It's a fascinating process. All right. She's way too excited about that. Hmm. There's something about this area. I don't think I can actually make that jump, to be honest. Oh. I don't know what I really expected. It's kind of dumb, actually. They have, like, weird jumps like that. Supposed to jump like over there. I thought that thing was gonna like the beacon. I'm not sure what it did. Hobo goblins. Oh, 
Oh, this year they shield and regen. Last year they just shielded. For the last uh, game. Dude, they keep shielding. You are good at destroying the Vex. Much better than my crew was. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... Failsafe? What happened to the Exodus Black crew? Only my captain can access those memories. And he's super dead. It's telling me to jump. I don't know about that. You know what? We're gonna trust this game. We're gonna jump. Get stuck like Cade? Oh no, my judgment module is much more reliable than the Cade units. We're through. We're okay. Of course, the Cade Six is not far now. Oh, alrighty then. I feel like I've done this boss before. <laughs> hey, over here. Get me out of here. What was it? Kind of like yeah. a vault of glass I boss? Shit. Yeah, yeah. No, pedal that first, then me. I wonder what percent the ads start spawning. I feel like prioritizing the minute is probably a good idea. I think I have to just take this slowly since I'm so low. Look, look. Long story, and it may look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. Okay, maybe not. Doesn't matter. 
Killing the power source at the origin point should break the loop and get me out of the portal system. Have you got that? Say you got it. Say something. Fine, I'll say it. We got it, Kate. Now, how did you move oh, my cotton socks? Did you not hear what I just said? I'm guessing this is why they don't like him leaving the tower. <laughs>